There we go. I have no idea why it didn't do it last time. But yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough carbon time. Like the carbonated beverages that Kirby loves so much. 100% is at hand. A dash boss of Gamble Galaxy. Choose your powers. Choose. Okay, okay you don't. Oh, you don't choose all of them. <laughs> Choose your point. Wow, really? Holy poopers. That may be a little broken for this. Um, I'll just go over to the power of the cutter. It's Dark Roche! And, oof. Fantastic. <laughs> Man, what a, what a fantastic start this was. I'm just trying to get a couple of shots over him with the powers of the cutter. There we go. I say, there we go, sorta of, kinda. He's got more power than he did before, as you would expect being a later game boss. But the idea of the cutter, I'm just trying to, yeah, I'm trying to get it like, right up close to his face. Because I can hit him then twice with the, the cutter at once. Man, man, man. If only I had Twister. If only I had Twister. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, I could. I was gonna say I could just do it like that too. That would work. You know, just do longer shots like this. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Your triple star rod is just mopping the floor with me embarrassingly. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should should not be using cutter like I thought. I shouldn't be using cutter. <laughs> I should just probably be going for. Just regular attacks, you know, just inhaling the stars and shooting them back out. Neither of those powers are really all that adequate for this fight anyway. So yeah, maybe I'll just battle them normally, unless I get something good from the, the powers of... Huh, that might not be too bad, actually. Remember, we have access to all the powers in the game now in that middle building anyway, so... So yeah, this is what I mean. Because you have that diagonal upper attack there, you can have a good time shooting doves at him all day and all night, and, well, assuming that you'll survive all day and all night. He's also got more health, too, by the way, so, yeah, keep that in mind for your strategies. <laughs> Maybe I'll just sit in the corner and shoot doves at him and just react to stuff as need be. It seems like a good idea. Oh, I was shooting doves, so I couldn't react. You cannot move while you're shooting doves. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should get myself a little bit further away from the corner to avoid those bombs. Oh! Why did I jump into it? I was fine. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, so I'm doing a lot better this time. Oh, yes. Yeah, so th as I said, those powers are not, not super, super useful for this fight in general. Uh, the magic is okay, though, as you see. Tornado would probably be a little too broken again. <laughs> Eh. Oh man, I just predicted you. Yeah, those, those, those fast teleportations, or I should just say ninja movements, are uh, kind of kind of difficult to predict. But that's the idea. You're just kind of reacting to where the poopy is. I'm just gonna throw doves everywhere. Oh, I, I once again reacted as poorly as I possibly could. <laughs> All right, I'll just keep throwing doves at you happily at the, in the corner here, and I win. Yes! Yeah! Hmm? Hmm? It appears as if the darkness has left him. We got the triple star! Woo! That's the item that he was using that whole time. That's why I said you to remember that item. <laughs> Alright, everyone's going down with the powers of the triple star. You don't have that many moves, but what you have is truly amazing. And, oh, I was gonna max some tomato with those. I wasn't paying attention to those blocks. They dissolve! Yes! <laughs> oh, I don't. I didn't really lose my, uh, my triple star now. Oh man, I want to battle the final boss with the triple star. <laughs> maybe, I'll, I, maybe, maybe I'll come back during the fight, I don't know. I don't know, but anyway. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Let's just follow the darkness and see where it takes us. Hmm. The 
couldn't be taking us anywhere good, let me tell you. Oh jeez! I was right! I was right! <laughs> the dodge is easy. I like to go right here because it's just kind of... Just like it's right in the middle of the doom. Like, look how close this comes. Okay, maybe it's not that close, but it's fun. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh wait, wasn't there supposed to be a treasure chest or... Actually, what, am I remembering things wrong? Anyway, Dark Nebula is the boss! And yeah, I guess I won't have the triple star. That's too bad! <laughs> Not that it's, like, the most important thing in the world to have, but I wanted to demonstrate the, super, the triple star in its entirety during the long final boss battles of the game and whatnot, so I was like, oh man, when not that happen? Well, I suppose I could do it this way just fine, as you could tell. I think it's, this actually might be easier than using the triple star in some ways, come to think of it. Maybe, maybe. No, I just want... Give me. <laughs> As you can tell, he has different elemental powers, which you can kind of get an idea of his weaknesses, then I suppose you could tell, but I, I, I don't know. He's kind of easy. <laughs> Woo! You know what? I'm going to empty out my belly. Just in case there's two treasure chests that I forgot about. <laughs> The treasure chest was the prison of Dark Nebula, ruler of the underworld. Yeah, maybe the treasure chest. Oh, I think I remember where what they are now. Made a knight knew the secret of the chests. Well, why didn't he say something? This could have all been avoided if you just took a little bit of verbal communication into into your. Uh, he fought a Kirby to prevent Dark Nebula from being released. Well, you could have even wrote, written him a note. If you can't talk, write something! The Scoots decided to look elsewhere for treasure. Oh. So they're gone. So very gone. Yeah, but they'll come back we keep playing. They've left their parts unknown. I don't know, I, got, I think I know what games they've headed off to. <laughs> anyway. The cake. Not here. It looks like peace will return to the land. But... Alas. Mm hmm? Where did that slice of strawberry shortcake disappear to? Oh, and I just realized Kirby is back to his normal color. Shook off the spray paint after the battle. Thoughts of that lost snack fill Kirby's head as he goes home. <sighs> it's gone forever. The end. Oh, man. Oh, man. And these guys made the game. I did not. I just made the walkthrough to help and entertain people. Uh, which I hope I did. There's still more of the game to go. As you see, there's a bunch of modes and extras and stuff like that to look through and whatnot. So it's not over. It's never over after the main game. It seems like... <laughs> Even if you collect everything along the way, it's still not over. <laughs> Which is good, I like lots of content in games. Although Kirby games do tend to be shorter than most games, and this one is no exception that you can get through it pretty quickly, as you see here. It's no Odyssey, let me tell you. <laughs> no, there's not much that's like Odyssey. But anyway. So yeah, this is a pretty fun game, and it's it's it does have some unfairness to it through that like the trial and error pathway dealio things every so often, but for the most part it's not. And it's not like the game is mega hard or anything like that to get through, so you know it's, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, I, it, it still should have been, you know, more properly dealt with, but I mean, for the most part, the game is quite good, so it's all like, eh, I don't know, a couple hiccups here and there, just there, you know? <laughs> oh, and I still have yet to show uh, the actual Ted Hone boss fight, so I'll probably just go run down a, uh, a level that'll have a mid-boss that'll probably have Ted Hon really quick after the credits and rolls and stuff like that, and we'll go and check him out. 
I think it'll be like 1-2 will have him, for instance. He appears at bosses that aren't like critical power bosses that you need the power of the boss, and just like uncritical spots too. <laughs> so it's it, it just like, I mean, uh, some uncritical spots, not all the uncritical spots is what I mean. So he doesn't. So if you haven't 100 percent the game, but you got all the ghost metal parts, you could still 100 percent the game because you'll still be able to get the powers some way from the bosses somehow. Anyway, whoa! whoa, whoa wait, what the poop? The cake? It's floating through space. A short while later. Dun 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 dun! dun. <laughs> <laughs> a delectable strawberry shortcake arise for Kirby from the squeaks! Woo! Perhaps in, it's an apology for all the trouble they caused. I hope so. But I wonder what happened to that other piece then. But Kirby doesn't really care why they sent it. It's snack time! <laughs> With shortcake waiting to be munched, Kirby is truly happy at last! Oh no, Kirby always looks pretty happy, really. The end! Really? <laughs> That's something I would write. <laughs> and you're stuck at this screen infinitely unless you hit a button. So let's hit a button and we're out of here. Complete! You can now play Sudden Death Boss Endurance! Oh man! Oh man, yeah, there's a boss rush mode. We got the strawberry shortcake! Woo! We can now play extra mode, which I'm not going to do in this walkthrough, and I'll explain why when I show it. <laughs> it well, actually, I could just explain it now. It's basically the, uh, the the whole game that we played, except with no saves, and you just try and get all the treasure chests in through the game as fast as you can. Oh, so I guess those remaining two treasures were just beating the ass. I was right uh, when I thought about that to myself. Alright, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back over here. See back over on uh, World 8. Go back over. So I guess, yeah, the boss. I think the one treasure was the triple star rod, which I embarrassingly lost. <laughs> and the other one was the uh, strawberry shortcake, which you could see in here. <laughs> That's what the last question mark bubble was on there. <laughs> Oh, and here's our completed ghost medal, by the way, but we, we've seen that earlier. Um, so, now we're gonna go, I suppose, back to something that we can run through really quick. As I said, I think 1-2 is like the first instance of Tad Han in the game. Oh no, that wasn't the level I was thinking of that had the first boss. Was it 1-3 then? Hmm. Hmm. Sad. <laughs> oh, you know what I could do? Uh, since that wasn't the right level anyway, what I should do uh, is go over and show now in here. After getting the triple star rod, you can now grab a triple star rod for anything over here. Woo! So I guess I can now demonstrate it this way. Uh, so you can shoot up the three stars at once, as you can see there, but at the rate that you can fire them, it's like you've always got three stars around you that you could fire. <laughs> Alright, let's try 1-3 now. And see what the poop is at the scoop. And as you can tell, with the powers of the triple star, you can get through a whole bunch of stuff too, so uh... Let's just say that this breaks a whole lot of the game, because it, uh, it allows you to kind of get through everything and everything that was a power-specific obstacle, which is, uh, yeah, that takes a lot out of the game, so <laughs> it's not, not one of my favorite powers to use. Oh, there's Ted Hahn, there we go! So it wasn't 1-2, it was 1-3. So yeah, he's got the power of possession, and he can grab onto you. If he grabs onto you, you will, uh, um, you will basically be unable to get out of it until you take a hit from one of the little ghosts around them. And yeah, that's uh, that's about it. <laughs> I already showed the ghost power before, so yeah, I guess I can. Uh, I suppose, perhaps, maybe, end off the part here. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I go through the game's extra stuff.